from day one of Big 12 Media Days in Arlington, AT&T Stadium, Garen Emig, Tulsa World Sports columnist, hanging out with Eric Bailey, the uh, University of Oklahoma beat writer. Another year of uh, Sooners mm -hmm. coverage, I guess, kicks off today, Eric, with Media Days. Lincoln Riley was uh, was down here talking about the 2019 season, brought to a few of his players, four, four mm -hmm. of his players along, Kenneth Murray, Creed Humphrey, C.D. Lamb, Neville Gallimore. Mm -hmm. What, uh, what stood out? Uh, that's Lincoln still has a name to starting quarterback. That was one of the first questions I asked him. Is there a mm -hmm. timeline, any, any direction? And he went out of his way almost to tell reporters that there has not been a starting quarterback named for the vacant position, that there still continues to be a competition between Jalen Hurts and Tanner Mordecai, which it's hard for me and you, I think, to believe right, right now. Yeah. yeah, I know I wrote about Hurts. Even though he wasn't here, Jalen Hurts, you could sort of feel his presence because I asked all the players about him and Riley about his progress. and. And for a guy that hasn't been named the starting quarterback, his presence is, is you can tell, is, is pretty obvious. Um, we assume Hertz will start the season opener. We assume the offense is still going to score points. Did you hear anything about the defense that led you to feel more hopeful? You know, today? Kenneth Murray, took the pre Big 12 preseason defensive player of the year, said all the right things, said the team's getting better. The culture is under Alex Grinch is changing. Uh, he enjoys his linebacker coach, Brian Odom. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, you know, but there's a lot of work still to be done between now and the opener against yeah. Houston, and he understands that too. One interesting thing what I wrote about it was that class of 2017 re that recruiting class of 2017 that came in with Kenneth Murray, Calcaterra, mm -hmm. Sermon, Marquise Brown just the impact that they made and they don't want to leave here without a national championship and that remains the goal. Yeah I will say this one of the things that was asked others here today Bob Bullsby the commissioner a couple of other a couple of other coaches even some players is there uh, OU fatigue settling in in terms of the conference? I think they've reached the point that, that Kansas basketball program has, where is it good to have one team sort of dominate the rest of the league? That's kind of interesting. And something Bullsby said is they've earned it. Oklahoma's earned it mm -hmm. with their, their their team, their players, their personnel. Uh, historically, they've been a good team, and he understands that they're in the position, position they are because they worked hard to get there. And, uh, yes, I mean, there probably is some OU fatigue. I know there's probably a lot of nine schools that are ready to see them get knocked off the mountaintop, but right. Oklahoma's not ready to fall. All right, well, they're done. The Sooners are finished. We're going to be here tomorrow to, to keep an eye on Texas. They'll uh, sort of over, overshadow, I imagine, the other four schools who will be at AT&T Stadium for coverage of Day 2 of Media Days. You want to read Eric, you want to read me, Bill Haston, Kelly Hines, Frank Bonner, our new Oklahoma State writer. Please, in the Tulsa world, and keep watching Tulsa World TV.